Hey, welcome to Tighten Up. Today is your boy CD coming to you with a game day update. Today, week eight is finally here. The Bucks are in town. The boys are already in the stadium doing pregame warm-ups, getting ready. We're less than an hour from kickoff. It's time to get that W2 winning streak going so we can get to W3 and 4 and 5 and beyond. But I'm talking to y'all today. Real quick, inactive list. We got off the tackle Aaron Stinney will be inactive. Cornerback Adoree Jackson inactive. Obviously, he's still hurting. Um, offensive guard Kevin Pamphal is at inactive. Wide receiver Darius Jennings. Sharif Finch still inactive again with his injury. Delaney Walker inactive with that ankle as well. And Chris Milton, who has missed a few games already, will miss another as he is inactive. Everybody else is ready to go. I'm ready to go. And I'm going to give you the three keys to victory today. Buccaneers is easy. All right. The Buccaneers defense has the number one rush defense. We know that. They have the worst pass defense. We know that. The easy button is just to go pass. I said that we still have to rely on the run, run first. Even if we're getting two or three yards, we have to protect the run game or protect the pass game with the run, protect the offensive line. We can't just drop back every down. So run the ball at least 20 to 25 times for 20 to 25 carries for Derrick Henry is a must. I don't care if he only ends up with 50 yards. We have to run the game, run the ball to control the game, to control the tempo, to control the time of possession, to keep their defense on the field. So that's one side. The other side will have to be a wide receiver play. We need to be able to block the outer edges for the run game. But the bigger thing is we need to get open, stay open and get the ball in our hands and catch the ball. As long as we are making catches, we will win this game. Get open, play good wide receiver, or good wide receiver play will get us to the victory that we need to get. Last but not least, I'm going to put this on you, Coach. Mike Vrabel, when it's time to make the right decision, you need to make the right decision. I don't care if it's throwing a challenge flag, if it's going for it on fourth down, if we should punt, field goal, whatever it is, you got to make the right calls today we cannot lose this game on the sideline so i'll wrap this up again i tell you one is going to be the running game for us sustaining time of possession making sure that we have a good opportunity to keep the ball in our hand and put the pressure on their defense second wide receiver play blocking on the edge getting open and catching the ball no drops today lastly mike vrabel coach make the right decisions and we win this game now I know it's game day and it's going to keep it real short and sweet because I want to watch the game myself. I'm hyped. Let's get to it. And if you like and love and want more of the Tighten Up Today show, like that button, click it, like it, whatever. Subscribe, click the notifications bell. And let's get on to next week. W2 is coming, man. It's coming. If you don't like it, love it. If you don't love it, love it even more. But before you leave, one question. Why tighten up tomorrow when you can tighten up today?